All right, so apparently everyone keeps failing to, well, at least one person registered it, but not everyone else. So, so I brought my bed into, this, into the 10 gallon tank I just finished uh, cleaning out and de icking and whatnot. And I want to show him off one more time because now I can really see his see the colors. You see all those little white dots on him? Is that ick or not? Because with that said, I'm planning I'm planning to plop him back into this tank. But for right now. <clears throat> He's in the, he's in, right now he's in a little container. He was originally in this tank here. I removed the divider because I'm planning to plop him back in there. But with that said, I'm going, I'm, I still have the divider for this thing. I just have it, I just have it in my sink right now. So once I get final confirmation about this guy, I will then know what I need to do. If he does that ick, I will put him back into this tank here. And then I'll start. Then I'll finish doing the treatments for Rick in this tank, and I'll be popping this guy onto this side of this tank. Because if it turns out this guy doesn't have ick, it's just regular, just regular weird white dots, which I'm pretty damn sure it is ick. But with that said, if it's not, I'm just gonna pop him into this side with the sponge filter because he has ammonia in it, because he had ammonia poisoning in this tank, and I won't put him into it into his side that's gonna have a heat that's gonna have a very big filter system to help him uh get him to help get him a lot more uh cleaner. And with that said though I just finished uh de icking this tank so I don't wanna go and put this guy back put this guy in this tank and have to go through all the process of uh cleansing this tank all over again. That took upwards of five, six hours of my day.